F1 racing, a sport where engineering meets adrenaline, and these cars rev up to a staggering 15,000 rpm. But if petrol is the fuel of choice, why not diesel? Diesel has more torque, better mileage. Sounds perfect, right? Then what's stopping F1 from using it? In this video, we'll break it all down: petrol versus diesel, RPM, power, torque, engine response, everything. In simple words, let's dive in. Diesel and petrol are both refined from crude oil, but they behave very differently in an engine. Diesel ignites via compression, that gives us higher torque, better efficiency. On the other hand, petrol ignites via spark plug, this gives us higher RPM and a quicker response. Let us understand this by a more refined example. Diesel is like a power lifter, strong but slow. Petrol, on the other hand, is a sprinter, fast. agile and perfect for the sharp reflexes that f1 demands but talk here is only half the story let's talk about power which depends on both torque and rpm and to understand this we'll use some maths we know horsepower equals torques into rpms into a constant so let's take an example for a diesel truck having 800 newton meters of torque at 2500 rpms that gives us roughly around 280 horsepower for an f1 engine It gives us around 400 newton meters of torque at 15,000 rpm. That gives us around 841 horsepower. Add the hybrid system to it, and you're just pushing over 1,000 horsepower. Diesel just can't compete at those revs, and those 1,000 horses <laughs> ain't no joke. This brings us to our next question: Why diesel engines can rev as much as F1 engines? Because diesel engines are limited by their own very structure. Why you ask? Because work on the principle of higher compression, which means heavier piston. Second, they have longer stroke. This gives more piston travel per cycle. Third, they have a slower combustion rate, due to which there is an increased risk of detonation at higher RPMs. For example, even the legendary Audi R10 TDI, a Le Mans winner, revved up only just to about 6,500 RPMs. Now compare that to an F1 engine. 15000 rpm right so we get a conclusion that big diesels gives us big torque but rev slow but f1 demands the opposite explosive and rapid power delivery now let's get to our next point that is throttle response why petrol wins in racing in f1 just tiny of the seconds matter press the throttle engine must react instantly so why petrol engines win here because They have light engine components that gives a faster RPM climb. Second, they have electric turbo that is no lag. Third, they have tighter gear ratios, which means engine stays in peak power band. On the other hand, diesel engine suffers from a turbo lag and slower combustion. In F1, that lag means you will be losing positions. Now, have you ever wondered why F1 cars idle at 5000 rpm? Most road cars idle at just 800 rpm, and F1 car. between 4 to 5000 rpm even when standing still you could be asking why there are a couple of reasons for it first there is no flywheel which gives us less rotational stability second to maintain oil pressure and cooling we need higher rpm third the turbochargers need to be stay spooled that is why they always sound like that they are always ready to launch even in the pit lane diesel has raced before and they have won too but not in f1 they have won in le mans race the audi r10 tdi dominated the le mans but endurance racing is about efficiency not just raw power f1 on the other hand needs agility power burst and razor sharp responsiveness where diesels fall short f1 has moved towards a cleaner future with hybrid petrol engines and synthetic fuels that balance power and sustainability no doubt diesel is more fuel efficient yes but emits more nitrogen oxides and particulates which f1 does not want this takes us to a final verdict diesel engines are brilliant no doubt about it but they're just not for f1 f1 demands higher rpm lightweight build explosive throttle and that iconic roar and petrol enhanced by hybrid tech delivers on all fronts and then there is the sound these engines don't just run they scream that 
iconic screen isn't just a noise, it's a signature of power, speed and engineering perfection. Now compare that to a diesel, it grunts, it rumbles, but it doesn't sing. F1, on the other hand, is a show, a visceral experience. The roar of the engine fuels the crowd, the emotion, the legacy. Diesel just doesn't hit the same notes here. So until diesels can scream at 15,000 rpm while keeping up with the 300 km per hour sprint, petrol will remain a king in F1.